the logarithmic equations as exponential equations. To do this, we need to understand this log equation and this exponential equation mean the same thing or equivalent. Log base b of n equals a means b raised to the power of a equals n. So b is the base in both log form and exponential form. a is the exponent both in log form and exponential form and n is a number in both log form and exponential form. So remember, a logarithm is an exponent, and that's why it's equal to a, which is the exponent in exponential form. So to write log base three of 81 equals four in exponential form, we need to recognize that three is the base. Since a logarithm is an exponent, four is the exponent, and this must equal the number, which is 81. When converting from log form to exponential form, we can verify this is correct by just evaluating the left side and making sure it equals the right side. Three to the fourth does equal 81, therefore this is correct. One more way to do this is to start with the base, which in this case would be three, and work our way around the equal sign to form our exponential equation. Notice three to the fourth is equal to 81. Next we have log base two of 64 equals six, so our base is two, the exponent is six, and the number is 64. Two to the sixth equals 64, which is true. Or again, we can start with two, work our way around the equal sign, two to the sixth equals 64. Next, we have log base 81 of nine equals one half. So our base this time is 81. The exponent is one half, and the number is nine. Remember, raising something to the one-half power is the same as taking the square root. And since the square root of 81 equals nine, this checks. And again, 81 to the one-half power equals nine. For our last example, we have log base five of one twenty-fifth equals negative two. So our base is five, the exponent is negative two, and the number is one twenty-fifth which again is correct. Remember five to the negative two is equal to one over five squared, which does equal one twenty-fifth. So five to the negative two is equal to one twenty-fifth. Now I do want to mention one last thing. For these examples, I've been saying log base b of n equals a, but you'll also often hear log n base b equals a, which would be equivalent. Okay, I hope this helps.